Hello and welcome to another update video about a CKB nervous network. I covered it in a video a few weeks ago and my next target is reached and therefore we should talk about this chart again also because I had a lot of requests now that the next level was reached that we were looking for which was the 3 cent level, 3.2 cents, yeah. Um, so I'm going to zoom in in a minute. There are two scenarios on the chart. There's the white one, which is bearish, which has become far less likely. I think already in the last video I highlighted to you that this is not the preferred one, the white count, because we are in a bullish market. Okay, and in the in the white count, we would be dealing with five waves down. One, two, three, four, five. Even though I didn't say, I think, in that video back then that the fourth wave was very shallow compared to the wave two. So it's not the cleanest five wave move down. But we only have three waves three waves up, A, B, C. So it could be a wave one to the downside, a wave two to the upside, which leads to a complete new low. Um, but, you know, that's not very likely in, the, in a bullish market. In the yellow count, which is the preferred one, we actually have an ABC structure to the downside. And then wave one to the upside, wave two, one second. I think I just need to... Um, okay, no, oh, all good. Um, wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside. That was the, uh, what was that here? The August low. And then this is now a third wave rally. Then we should get a four and a five. Now, I did say at the time, it doesn't make a great difference now if it's the white count or the yellow count because they both have the same microstructure and they will, on they will only diverge from each other after the next high. So we could rule out the white count completely if we get a break above the all-time high, that's at 4.45 cents. We're not there yet. Um, but it's already at a point where just the fact that we're in a bullish market makes the white count less likely. In addition to that, um, a wave two, which would be the bearish count, a wave two rally, rarely breaks above the 78.6 retracement. So it's all done that. So if we focus on yellow, um, and that allows us to calculate or recalculate the support region. So in the last, I have to go to the daily chart and zoom in actually. Oh, we don't see it. In the um, counts, and again, they were both basically same microstructure. We did say that um, in the yellow count, obviously third wave, we're dealing with, um, sorry, you might hear some background noise, that we had a wave one to the upside, which was a leading diagonal pattern then a wave two pullback here into the January low, and then a third wave rally into the March high, which was, I think, sort of when I made the last video. I explained to you that um, as long as we're holding that support area here, one more high is expected. So I can take that off now, support it, hold. And it seems like we are now dealing with wave five of three, yeah, or wave five of C of two, which is the bearish count, but let's focus on the bullish one. That means that at some point, the third wave should be finished and the fourth wave pullback should start. The larger fourth. Um, I have to, no, I don't even need to just slightly adjust the support region. This here would be ideal support for the fourth wave between 1.8 cents and uh, 0.009 USD. So 0 0.9 cents. Uh, and then we could get from there another wave five. So I prefer the bullish scenario also because we broke above resistance. But I have to say that these fifth waves can sometimes extend and there's currently absolutely zero, <laughs> just zero evidence that a top is in place. So, um, yeah, you know, I think what we can do is probably take the, I don't, I won't, I won't take the white count of the chart, but what we can do with the information that we have, we can calculate the, um, let's say, we can see if we can calculate targets for that fifth wave there to the upside. It seems as if this fifth wave is already reached, actually, the target, the first one at least. Oh, not yet. Okay. Normally we say that the first target for such a fifth wave is the 38.2 extension of waves one and three together. That takes us to 3.9 cents. So that's the next level I would expect to be reached. And then possibly if we can stretch to a new all-time high, the first line of resistance will be the 6.8 cent level as far as I can see that right now. And um, obviously as long as we go higher, I have to adjust the support region with the price. Okay, so it would move higher with the price. Mm, if we get a wave four, then it might be that we just get a very shallow one. I mean, it would still be a drop to 1.8 cents possibly from here. But again, there's no confirmation that we've started that. But we have all these previous swing lows in that area. 
Now looking at the four hour chart, is there anything we could see here? I don't think it has a reliable microstructure really. Uh, there's already as micro as it can get really. Um, it looks complete, I mean, but until we get some kind of a confirmation that the top is in place, yeah, we can't really confirm that. I mean, what would be an earliest indication that a top is in? I think a break below 2.33 cents. That's my update about um, CKB. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.